Welcome to episode 33 of the Preaching Donkey podcast. My name is Lane. I am your humble host. It's so awesome to have you joining me today, whether you're watching here on YouTube or you're listening over on Spotify or Pandora or Apple Podcast, wherever you're tuning in with me today. I'm so thankful. I do not take it for granted that you would take out some time from your day to spend with me. And I'm starting a series today, a series of podcasts for the next few episodes where we're going to be looking at the 10 essential steps of creating a sermon. I'm going to call it the sermon prep checklist. And as we go through these 10 steps or these 10 items, I want to drill down on some things that we need to kind of make sure we're doing with each one of these steps. And it starts with the process of just kind of determining what we're going to preach on then how we're going to get into digging the scripture, then building an outline, and then building out the content of the sermon, and so on. So some of this is going to be stuff that we've already talked about, but I want to talk about it in sequence, and I want to drill down on some things that maybe we haven't drilled down on before. And I also want to put this checklist in your hands so that you can not only follow along with this series, but you can use this when you prepare your messages because this is something that you can just, it's on one page, you can have it in front of you, and it's just an easy, quick reference to see kind of where you are in the sermon prep process. So if you want to check that out, it's my 10-step sermon prep checklist. You can go to preachingdonkey.com slash checklist, preachingdonkey.com slash checklist. You can download that for free, and it will be a great complement to these videos. Now, one of the reasons why I'm doing this series is because my first book, Preaching Killer Sermons, came out five years ago. I'm a little bit behind celebrating that because it was actually April 19th, 2016, and this is June of 2021, almost July. So it's a little more than five years later, but I was kind of busy. I was out of town and all that kind of stuff when the five years came up. So I'm celebrating it now, but Five years ago, that book came out, and it's done tremendously tremendously well. A lot of people have benefited from it. Still sells every single day of the week. It's really cool. Very thankful for that and the impact it's had. And then in 2019, two years ago, I released my second book, Become a Preaching Ninja. And that book really drills down on a process for writing and developing a sermon. And that is where a lot of this content is going to come from in this checklist in this series of uh, videos in this series of in this podcast episode series. So, if you haven't grabbed my books, you can go check them out on they're both on Amazon. And if you want something that would be a great complement to these videos, it's going to be the Become a Preaching Ninja. So, you can check that out it's on Amazon, but you don't need the book to get the most out of this. Uh, I definitely would grab the checklist that's free over at preachingdonkey.com/checklist. All right, so let's dive in. I'm going to give you the 10 steps right up front, the 10 steps first, and then uh, then we'll go into step one today, and then step two next week, and step three the week after that, and so on. And then I might interrupt this series every now and then to do an interview or to deal with something else. But we'll get through all 10 of these in the next 12 to 15 weeks. It'll be pretty fun. So step one is determine your topic, title, and hook. Step two is dig into scripture. Step three is outline the sermon. Step four is build out the content. Step five is run it by your preaching team. And if you're saying, I don't have a preaching team, we'll get into that when we get to that section in week five, step five. Step six, rehearse the sermon. Step seven, design slides and other media. Step eight, develop the handout. That's what you're going to put in people's hands when they walk in. Number nine, preach it. Number 10, evaluate it. So those are the 10 steps to effective sermon prep. Let's go through, let, let's let's start going through each one by starting today with step one. Determine your topic, title, and hook. Really quickly, I first want to just mention what is a topic, title, and hook? Well, topic is what the sermon is about. The title is what the sermon is called, and the hook is what is going to make people interested in hearing the sermon, and not only hearing the sermon, but hearing more of the sermon. What I mean by that is when people are in your church and they're listening to you preach, you want to give them a reason to keep listening. And that begins with your hook, and then it's carried out through the rest of your message. You're always trying to help people understand why they need to keep listening. They need to hear what you're going to say next. 
So a hook is kind of the way of describing that in your message. What is it that's going to keep people interested? Why are they going to care? So that's hook. The topic, obviously, what your sermon is about. And then the title is, is going to be, what are you going to call the sermon? And I've talked about this before, but a lot of times titles, I, I don't think they're that important, generally speaking, except for the fact that when you're preparing, when you give the sermon a title and you say, it's going to be called this, it helps focus your sermon prep, even if it's literally just a title that's written on the handout, or it might come up on the first slide of your message, and you don't really give it much of a attention apart from that, it still helps in your sermon prep. And then your topic is something that's going to probably be either determined by your planning, if you're planning out your series in advance, or it's going to be determined by the pastor that's invited you to speak, if you're not the pastor, but you're speaking as a guest, or if you're like the associate pastor or youth pastor or you, and you've been asked to preach. So they might give you a topic and maybe a passage to work with. And so step one is to get all of those things in front of you. So with the topic, you wanna ask the question, what is this sermon about, right? What are we trying to do with this sermon? What is it about generally speaking? We're gonna get into where are we taking people? What's the bottom line? Where is all this going? We'll get to that in future steps. But in step one, the goal is just to nail down the topic, the title, and the hook. So the topic is, what is it about? What is the title? Okay, what are we gonna call it? And by the way, this is a tentative title because this could and does change throughout the process. And then hook, and this is the most important one in my view, what will make your listeners interested in hearing it? So what is the topic? What is it about? What are we gonna call it tentatively? And then what is going to make my listeners interested in hearing this message and, and really hearing more of this message. Those are the three kind of foundational pieces of the first step, the first of 10. There's nine more to go, so there's much more to say, but that's the first one. So this week, as you're sitting down to prepare your message, just begin with those three things. What is this sermon about? What am I gonna call it? And then what's going to make my people interested in hearing it? And put words to those. Don't just think about it, but write out the topic, write out the title, and then write out a, a hook, a way of describing what's going to keep people listening to this message. If you can do that, you get through step one. That sets you up for step two, which we'll cover in our next episode, which is about digging in to scripture. How do you dig into scripture? What do you do to make sure that you're studying well and you're studying with the end in mind? And that is, you're not just studying for personal Bible study's sake, you're studying for a message and that's different. There's a different way of studying when you're studying for a sermon. And once you master that, then it becomes much more easy in terms of how efficient your process is and you dig way more out of the text that way than if you just had an unfocused, generalized study. We'll talk about that next week in the podcast. Until then, remember that God can speak through a donkey, he can speak through you, and he can speak through me. We'll see you next time here at the Preaching Donkey Podcast.